How do you make a mistake as gross as this? I mean, think about it. If you had a real job, which is CBO, there are real people doing that, how do you make such a gross mistake uh, of uh, underestimating your budget exactly. that bad? The Tea Party's best movement would be to compliment the Republican nominees. You know, or they the blue dog Democrats. No, 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 no. I don't really think that they <laughs> need to get involved. There are blue dog Democrats. I, I was just talking to Ross Perot yesterday. He said he'd take some blue dog Democrats over some moderate Republicans any day. Well, I mean, you have to look at this, the, the issues that are at hand. How do they vote on taxes? Where are they on social issues? And then you pick your candidate. But, you know, if we don't watch out, the Tea Party can end up messing it up for the Republicans. And now is our shot to really win back some seats in 2010. First of all, I think it's really funny that uh, the town when he was in Buffalo, New York, by the way, that he drove through, had uh, uh, the people there had lost 4,000 jobs since the stimulus had been signed. And this, you know, the fact that he is talking about job creation is absolutely a joke. It's an insult to the unemployed, basically. And, you know, this is somebody that took time out to take his wife to date night in New York, had a beer summit, and flew to Oslo to <laughs> campaign for the Olympics. Yeah, as Why are we so surprised? I mean, they're just adhering to regulators, the banks are, because they're saying, the regulators are saying, take less risk. And, you know, you have to admit that a lot of the small business loans are high risk. But on the other hand, the taxpayer, we're the ones that funded some of, right. some of this, so it's kind of an oxymoron. And another thing is the small businesses, they create jobs.